So we're doing pretty good on our layout here. Let's now work on this top navigation bar. Uh, we started styling it, but we haven't finished. Um, I created a style here for top nav, and all that really did is put in this gray background, uh, centered the text, and made it the, the right width. Now it's time to make these links look a little better. I like to do side by side, with a little vertical pipe in between them and uh, sort of not be blue and underlined and maybe even have a rollover. So let's do that. So this is an unordered list. So first I'm going to come down and get the UL selected so we can put it create a style for that. Okay, and so you can see I've got very specific here. I'm only going to be styling the unordered list that happens to be inside of these three containers. So I'm very specific. All right, so a couple things about unordered lists. They have some default padding, so I'm going to zero out the padding. And they have default margins, so I'm going to zero out the margins. Okay. And I don't want the bullet anymore, so I'm going to go down here to list and to style type and say none. And off will come uh, off will come that bullet. And for now, that is all I need to do to the whole list. Um, now, each one of these items is a list item, so I'd like you to create a, a style for each list item, and this is where I can tell them to go side by side. Okay, so a new, new rule here, and again, very specific, and I'm going to do that. Okay, so um, under block, there's a, um, a category here under for display. And I'm going to open that up and do inline. And when I click apply, you'll see those that ordered list now instead of be instead of being horizontal is now I mean instead of being vertical is now horizontal. So side by side. I'd also like to have a vertical line in between um, each one of these to sort of separate them out. And the way I'm going to do that is by using the border properties. Now I'm going to I don't want all the borders, I only want a border on the right. So I'm going to do a solid, um, how about two pixel wide, and let's do a black one right now so that it shows up. Now you can see it shows up and it's right flush against the end of there. Um, we'll, we'll take care of that in just a minute. Uh, but that gets me a little farther along. Okay, so I'm using, uh, I've just created a rule for the list items. Okay, so now uh, let's go to in and um, create a rule for what the links are going to look like. So get the A selected, um, new rule, again very specific. This is not going to change all the links on my page. It's only going to change the links that are inside of a list item that are, happen to be inside my top nav. Okay, so first of all I did want to take off the underline. So I take that off and I did want these to be a different color. Uh, so I think I'll just make them uh, that dark gray for right now. All right, the other thing I, I want to do is I want to just spread them apart a little bit. Um, and you'll see that if I put, I'm going to uncheck same for all, let's say I put a little right margin, a right padding on there, it moves them right, and if I put a little left um, that gets it about centered. Sometimes you need to uh, play with these a little bit. I could even put um, 10 right and 5 left and that gets that vertical line. What I'm looking at is that vertical line that I want it to be I want it to be centered um, between the, the links and I want it to adjust automatically. So usually uh, something like that will work okay. Alright, so that's all I want for um, the style for the link. Okay, let's look at how um, we're doing so far. Now, the nice thing about doing it this way is if one of your, uh, the text for one of these changes, you can see everything else adjusts automatically. So if one was longer or shorter, um, you don't have to worry about any sizing issues. Um, well, you can go in and tell your, your uh, links to be a certain width and a certain height. Um, but then that can cause a little problem when one gets the text inside gets longer than the other. Now I see this black line here. Um, my my divider, my pipe, is uh, going all the way to the top. So I'd like to create a little space there so that it doesn't go all the way to the top. And uh, I'm going to use the top nav to do that. Uh, I'm going to edit that, and I just want to put in 
a little bit of padding. So I don't need it all the way around. I just need a little bit on the top, maybe three pixels, and a little bit on the bottom. Click Apply. Um, well, I thought I'd have a little more luck with that. Let's just see if I put in a bunch. Let's just see if we can get it to show up. Oh, you know what? I am in Live View. Let me just cancel out of here. Come out of Live View. You can see it did work. So I don't... Um, so go back to Top Nav, Edit, and Box. And I want these to be the same, probably. Okay, so that gives me a little space. Okay, so I just went into Top Nav. The reason I didn't, didn't show up is I was in this Live View. And uh, sometimes these changes won't show up. Okay, so I went to I went to my um, top nav style and unchecked the same for all padding and just put in a couple of pixels for the top and the bottom and now I have a little nice little uh, space around that. Okay, now um, if uh, I gotta kind of protect myself here with this nav bar, um, I've set a style for what this link uh, these the a tag link is going to look like. If somebody came to my website, they clicked on one of these links, there's a default visited style, which is purple. And I don't want that to show up. Um, I want it just to, after they're visited, I just want it to look like this. And I might want to create a, a, a hover style as well. So here's, um, I'm just going to go into the code and get my style sheet up here. And you can see, if I scroll down here, I have a uh, I need to find that style right there, which is creating what what the A looks like. Now I'm just going to add a couple uh, here that I want A colon link, and I want this to apply to A colon visited. Okay, so just by adding those two things on there, that takes care of um, what this link is. These links are going to look like when they're just sitting there, and after they've been visited, they'll have these same properties. Okay, um, so I'm going to save that. I can go back to the design view. Um, I'd also like to now create a, a rollover style here. So I'm going to come in and select that A tag again. And then we're going to create a whole new style. We've got to add to our name here, because this is the same um, selector name as the one we, we were just working on. So I'm going to add to the end there, colon, hover. So this will write a style um, that recognizes the mouse and will will do whatever property um, it's going to do. Now I don't have to I don't have to add everything here. All I'm going to do is add the things I want to to happen. So I want an underline to happen, and maybe I want these links to change to um, that nice blue color. Okay. So let me just look at pull up the style sheet here um, uh, so you guys can see. Uh, what that looks like here in the style sheet. Okay, all right. So here is the rule that defines what the a what the links are going to look like when they're just sitting there. What they're going to look like after they've been visited. Same thing. Um, you can create a separate one if you want. If you want the visited links to look different, and then right underneath it, you'll see that uh, there's a style here with an extra long name. Um, remember this part of the name isn't ne really necessary, it's just being very specific here. Um, but this part is. So for any link that is inside of a list item, which is inside of an unordered list, which is inside the top nav um, region, or div, the, it will get, when the mouse rolls over it, or the mouse hovers over it, it'll get an underline, will show up, and the text will change to this color. Okay, let's go out and preview this in the browser save those changes, yes, save them, and uh, I'm going to drag this over so you can kind of see the preview in the browser, and as I roll over these, you can see that it's working. Okay, so far so good. Get this out of there. Okay, a couple other things um, that we're probably going to need to fix is I don't want this last line to show up, this last border there, so I'm going to create a style for that. Uh, and then we'll fine tune this nav bar a little bit and also fine tune my vertical columns, my three columns down here a little bit in the next tutorial that is.